Welcome to this presentation on the three dimensions of cybersecurity cube. Cybersecurity cube is used as a tool when managing the protection of networks, domains, and the internet. The first dimension of the cube includes the three principles of information security. Cybersecurity professionals refer to the three principles as the CIA um, triad. The second dimension identifies the three states of information or data. The third dimension of the cube identifies the expertise required to provide protection. These are often called the three categories of cybersecurity safeguards. The three principles of security. Confidentiality, uh, in uh, in uh, integrity, and availability. Confidentiality. Confidentiality prevents the dis disclosure of information to unauthorized people, resources, or processes. Integrity uh, refers to the accuracy, consistency, and trustworthiness of data. Uh, and finally, availability ensures the information is accessible by authorized users when needed. Uh, use the acronym CIA uh, to remember these principles. Um, the three basic states of data, um, it's data in transit, data at rest, and data in process. Data at rest is a term that refers to the data stored on a device or back of medium in any form. Data in transit is uh, data that currently traveling across the network or sitting in the computer's RAM, ready to be read. And data in use is data that has not been, uh, has been stored, has to be on a hard drive or external storage medium. The third dimension of the cybersecurity cube defines the skills and discipline a cybersecurity professional can call upon to protect cyberspace. The first skill includes the technologies, devices, and products available to protect information systems and fend off cyber criminals. There are software and hardware solutions that help protect information systems, such as an antivirus, firewalls, and intrusion protection systems. Cybersecurity professionals have a reputation for mastering the technological tools at their disposal. However, the technological tools are not enough to defeat cyber criminals. Cybersecurity professionals must also build a strong defense by establishing policies, procedures, and guidelines that enable the users of cyberspace to stay safe and follow good practices. There are ad administrative controls, acceptable use policies, and incident response procedures that fall under this category. Finally, users of cyberspace must strive to become more knowledgeable about the threats of cyberspace and establish a culture of learning and awareness. The people aspect of the cybersecurity cube includes engaging in training for computer virus threats or knowing social en engineering tactics. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.